Hi, it's Alaska Granny. It's a beautiful summer day here in Alaska. It's a great day to fire up the barbecue and make a foil packet meal. You can always put them in the oven if you want, but foil packets are a great way to make meals out of doors. When you cook in foil packets, there's virtually no cleanup. So who couldn't love that? There's two things you absolutely must have if you're going to make foil packets. One is some aluminum foil. I like to buy the Reynolds wrappers and I pick them up at Dollar Tree. They are heavy duty. They're just the right size. They're already pre-cut sheets that you just pull out and they're simple to make your foil packet meals. See how you can pull out the Reynolds foil wrappers and they're just the right size. It's a good idea to double them up so that you don't have any leaks, tears, or spills that can help hold your meal together when you're preparing your foil packet meal. You also need some cooking spray. Spray your foils so that nothing sticks. You only need three ingredients to make the taco chicken veggie foil wrapper. I have some chicken breast tenderloins, some taco seasoning mix, and a bird's eye power blend Southwest style. It includes brown rice, quinoa, black beans, corn, peppers, and a nice zesty sauce. So you basically don't have to do any cooking and you can have a really yummy meal. Start with the double layer of foil wrapper sheets and spray them. Then this is going to make two servings, so I'm going to put half of the bag of the power blend into the foil wrapper. Break up any chunks. Now top it with your piece of chicken and sprinkle it with taco seasoning. This is a mixture that I mixed up myself. I can put a link to a video on how to make your own taco seasoning, but maybe you already have some that you bought. Give it a nice generous sprinkle of taco seasoning. Okay, it needs to go this way. Granny got mixed up. Okay, here we go. <laughs> so put it this way because you're going to fold it up this way. All right, so you're going to fold up and make it like a tent. Fold it over. and then fold up the ends. And your foil packet is ready to go in the grill or the oven. If you decide to put it in the oven, lay them on top of a baking sheet so that and nothing will leak into your oven. And we'll make another one, spray it, add the other half of the veggies. I think that one looks a little larger, but that's okay. Add your chicken. Sprinkle it with the taco seasoning. I'm going to roll it up. And fold up the ends. Yes, I didn't divide that very evenly, but you get the idea. Here's another tip. If one of them is larger than the other, put a little mark on it so that you know which one to check and make sure that it's completely done. And you want to light your grill and bring the temperature up to about 400 degrees. And then you're ready to place your foil packets. Close the lid and keep your eye on it for about 20 minutes. You can take your meat thermometer, poke it into the packet, make sure that it's done. You can see, oh look at this. This meat is done. It's easy to cut. It's been all cooked completely through and it looks just delicious. Just eat out of the foil packet or put it into a bowl or plate. It's your choice. But look how delicious. It's so good. You guys, this is so simple. It's so delicious. And then you can just toss the foil when you're done. It's got lots of veggies, quinoa, rice, Tender chicken, yum. This is so good. You get a complete meal from just very little effort and no cleanup. Who can't love that? Look at the chicken, yummy. Mm. Try making foil packets. Not only are they delicious, but they're so easy to clean up. Foil packets can also be individualized. You can only add the ingredients 
that people want. You can even let people prepare their own if you have a big group. There's lots of different ways to make foil packets, and this one is one of my favorites because it's so simple. Let us know in the comments below what are some other foil packet meals that you make. I hope you'll like my video, share it with someone else you think might enjoy it, and please subscribe to the Alaska Granny channel.